Talk out my brother. Do what you did to prove it. This, me this next man needs really no introduction. He is regarded by many to be the best boxer in his generation, and to many, the very best to ever lace them up. Yo. 15 times in that ring, he had a belt strapped across his waist, including the ring magazine title in five different weight classes and the lineal championship across four weight classes. He amassed a professional record of 50 victories, no defeats, 27 of those by knockout. And since CompuBox officially kept stats, he has been the most accurate puncher, having the highest plus minus ratio in history, thus phrasing his motto, hit and not get hit. He has earned the title of pay-per-view king, having secured to date the highest top four grossing pay-per-views in history and five of the top 10 in history. <laughs> Presenting Floyd Money Mayweather. My name is Ramlin Ralph, and now I present to you the presenter for Global Titans Fight Series, Andy Shepard. The circus has begun. And look, let's be honest, six months ago, who would have thought you'd be in this position now? Now it's all begun. You see the attention. You, you see the champ there. How are you feeling? Um, I, I have no words, really. This is amazing. I'm truly blessed. I want to give thanks to God. Honestly, because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't even be here. My team as well. Literally, like, this is surreal. All of this. I mean, I've seen this place on TV, and now I'm here. Next to the champ. It's insane. So I'm truly blessed, yeah. You're the best man to ever step between the ropes. Uh, you, you had an incredible undefeated career. Multiple world titles. An incredible business portfolio. An entrepreneur. And now we come to this. Um, your first time uh, seeing Deji in the flesh, I believe. What do you make of this young man? Um, I'm just glad that we're able to come together and put another great event together. Um, first, I want to thank all the sponsors. We have so many, so many different sponsors that's working on this, on this event. We have so many people that's behind the scenes that's working on you know, this, this crazy event. You know, I've been here so many times as far as doing big exhibitions, doing big fights. It's all about entertainment. And um, November 13th, entertainment, entertainment, entertainment. Um, we had a chance, I had a chance to uh, compete um, over in uh, Abu Dhabi. It's supposed to be in, in Dubai, so we competed in Abu Dhabi the last time. Um, we had, you know, a little bump in the road, but we got it done. And I'm happy that we're able to go back to the UAE and give the people excitement. You know, I'm happy to be here again. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's going to have fun. I'm going to have fun. And the people from all around the world will be entertained. Everybody that's in this gym, you know, there's so many different familiar faces that I've been seeing for 26 years. And I will always be loyal to those that's, that's been loyal to me. So, you know, as far as my documentary that's coming out, you guys are going to see 26 years of behind the scenes footage that you guys have never seen. I remember when radio hosts and TV reporters were accusing you of ducking Shane Mosley, Baldemir, Hatton, Canelo, Guerrero, and you fought all of them right after that. Is that also going to be in your documentary? Well, I feel like the proof is in the pudding. I don't have to say, I don't have to say who I beat. You know, there's, there's been so many great fighters out there, so many good fighters. All the guys that you named are, are hell of a fighters. You know, everything is about timing. Um, I wish me and Shane Mosley could have fought when he was undefeated, but it didn't happen. And even like with the Manny Pacquiao fight, you know, everything is about timing. And if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. And when it happened, I'm glad that it happened when it happened because it was worth it. And financially, it was worth it. So, you know, I turned a, a fight... I turned a $50 million fight to a $300 million fight. So it was, I feel like it was worth it. Floyd, over here, Marcos Villegas. Good to see you again. Hey, I just want to ask, uh, what was your interest level or uh, why did you select Deji and what about him or what about his social media following uh, made this exhibition interesting for you? Well, it, well it, 
Hello? Hello? I'm sorry. Well, it's really not me. It's, it's my team. It's communication. I got good communication with, with my team. Like I just spoke about when I first got up here. It's a lot of people that's behind the scenes that don't get the credit. You know, you have guys like Brent Johnson, um, James McNair, uh, AKA the Harlem Hot Boy, that's working every day, 24 hours a day. Even Al Heyman and Leonard Ellaby, is, and you have so many different pieces to this puzzle that's working behind the scenes. And um, he has a huge following. Um, I got a huge following and it's all about excitement. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna bring excitement I'm going to bring excitement, so it's, a, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool for the UAE, at least I think so. Now, I, I know uh, these are exhibitions, and you see them that way, but just me looking on the outside, I felt like your opponents, the last two Japanese opponents, they're going in, they're trying to rip your head off. Like, I feel yes. like they're well, approaching it like it's a real fight. Absolutely. So um, let me kind of explain to, the, to everyone what happened in the last exhibition. So I, I came out there, and I had to check the temperature. When you guys... When you guys like, what do you mean by check the temperature? I mean, I'm seeing what the guy is really on. So, you know, he shot a jab. I touched, I touched it with my glove. I saw he's trying to kill me. So I said, I've been here before because I got so much experience. So I didn't know what he wanted to do. I didn't know. I mean, sometimes you want me to carry the guy. I can carry a guy, but I can see this guy. He was upset. So I said, let me go ahead and get the people what they want to see. Well, it's totally different. You know, when I'm going out there for a regular professional fight, you know, I can demand whatever I want to demand. Whereas the negotiation for an exhibition is a little bit different. You know, we can we can pick up we can pick up thirty, we can pick up we can pick up twenty, thirty million. We can pick up, we can pick up a few million, but when I'm fighting a regular fight, you know, most 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 likely there's always a high number. You know, you guys may see fifty million or a hundred million dollar check. So there's a there's a difference, but it's it's not really about the money. I'm enjoying myself. I'm able to stay in shape, and whereas with a professional fight, like when you're training for all the top guys, you have to work extremely, 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 extremely hard, and you have to and you have to work out extremely a lot. Meaning, you have to do you know um, between five and eight mile runs, you have to uh, work out in the swimming pool, you have to chop wood, you have to do a lot of sparring, you have to do. I mean, it's, it takes a lot, a lot of bag work. Um, hand specialists, um, masseuse. It takes a lot for a fight that's at a, at a crazy, crazy high magnitude. Uh, Deji, you hear Floyd talking about how he checks his opponent's temperature in these exhibitions. <laughs> what's, what's your temperature going to be uh, November 13th? Is it going to be 100 degrees? Or, you know? Deji, go. <laughs> um, I guess uh, with this exhibition, I'm going to... I mean... I saw that Floyd said something about, you know, like easy picks or something like that. So I want to kind of show him that, you know, I can actually bring something to the table, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> so yeah. yeah. <laughs> but some of these fans in the U.S. and some of the hardcore boxing fans are still trying to figure out what you're about. From your first fight to your last fight, there's such improvement there. It's almost like a whole nother person, right? Your team went on one of the podcasts uh, a couple days ago and said that that you were basically going to destroy Floyd. Okay. <laughs> now I'm just I'm just saying that because I mean it's it's good promotion, but in reality, you guys really really have improved so much that you really you really believe and confident that you're gonna, you're going to go in there and give him a run for his money. At the end of the day, I'm just like Floyd said. I'm here to have fun. I'm going to showcase some skills, and uh, we'll see what happens. Really. We'll see what happens November 13th. Legacy. Legacy, yeah. Legacy. Yeah. Legacy. Yeah. Bronte said, I'm not signed to a single soul. So is Tank now a free agent, or is he still signed with Mayweather Promotions? Well, this is the Mayweather Deji press conference. So I'm here to talk about uh, Dubai. I'm here to talk about entertaining the people, having fun. And um, I'm not here to talk or talk disrespectful or bad about any fighter. Um, you know, they say America is the land of the free. You know, so we live, we love, 
and we keep striving each and every day. That's what life is about. All right, guys, and now a face-off, please. Once again, the Global Titans Fight Series returns November 13th, live from the Coca-Cola Arena, Dubai, UAE. Deji Olatunji, TBE Floyd Money Mayweather, live on pay-per-view. Thank you so much for watching this video, and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV, and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV, on Twitter, and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.